Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about something truly game-changing, the NVIDIA RTX 5070. This card has been making waves for delivering RTX 40 90 level performance at a fraction of the cost. At just $550, it's got the entire tech world buzzing and I can't wait to break it all down for you. Let's dive in. All right, so NVIDIA recently launched the RTX 5000 series, and honestly, the RTX 5070 has stolen the spotlight. At just $550, NVIDIA is saying this card delivers performance comparable to the RTX 4090, which launched at a jaw-dropping $1,600. That's a massive price gap. If you're wondering how that's even possible, the answer lies in NVIDIA's new DLSS 4.0 technology. Let's talk about DLSS 4.0 because this is where the magic happens. DLSS, or Deep Learning Super Sampling, allows the GPU to render images at a lower resolution and then upscale them to a higher one, thanks to AI. NVIDIA is claiming that DLSS 4.0 can boost performance by up to four times in certain games. Imagine playing the latest AAA titles at high settings and buttery smooth frame rates without spending a fortune. That's what the RTX 5070 promises. For all the gamers out there, this card is a dream come true. At $550, you're getting performance that's comparable to a card nearly three times the price. Whether you're into competitive esports, immersive AAA games, or even VR, the RTX 5070 looks like a winner. Nvidia has really nailed the balance of price and performance here, and it's hard not to get excited about that. The RTX 4090 is a beast with 16,384 CUDA cores, 128 ray tracing cores, and 512 tensor cores, paired with 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. This makes it a monster for video editing, architectural rendering, and other professional workloads. The RTX 5070, on the other hand, comes with 6,144 CUDA cores, 48 ray tracing cores, and 192 tensor cores, along with 12 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. While it's not as stacked, it's more than capable of handling gaming and everyday tasks, especially with the help of DLSS 4.0. The lower core count means it won't shine in demanding creative workflows. Where the 4090 excels in raw power, the 5070 focuses on efficiency and value, making it perfect for gamers looking to maximize performance without breaking the bank. However, if you're a professional who needs maximum power for tasks like video editing, 3D rendering, or architectural design, the RTX 4090, or even the upcoming RTX 5080, will serve you better with their higher CUDA and Tensor Core counts, plus more VRAM. Hopefully, this breakdown helps you figure out whether the RTX 5070 is the right card for your needs. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more awesome tech content. See you in the next one.